Sorry, but two tornadoes happened. Uh, there was one by Albany, which we deemed a high-end EF1 tornado. The tornado here that started just east of, uh, south southeast of Evansville here, uh, going up towards uh, Lake Koshkanag, what we've called that high-end EF2. We have one point that we're going to be considering whether or not it's EF3 level damage or not. There was some information that got out. Um, while we were on the survey that uh, wasn't fully QC'd yet, uh, but uh, it's, we're not considering it a three at this point. We want to look at some more aerial footage and talk with some other experts on some of the damage we saw because some of it was large farm equipment that isn't a normal damage indicator for us when we're surveying tornadoes to try to get an idea of what level we should call that kind of tornado. So high end EF2, uh, we're calling it 135 mile per hour winds with uh, what went through uh, the strongest looked like it was east northeast of Evansville here. Tim, when, when you guys were looking at this storm approaching southern Wisconsin, did it appear to be tornadic or was it, I mean, because you're not expecting that in February. So leading up to it, we started seeing some things uh, that got us more concerned about the chances for tornadoes. Uh, the skies started clearing out a lot more, which made it a bit more in, unstable than uh, previous forecasts have been kind of showing. Um, so it developed right over southern Wisconsin. Uh, we had storms that started popping in northeast Iowa, but they weren't tornadic at that point. It wasn't until it got into uh, Greene County that they started to show more signs of uh, rotation, and that's when we started issuing tornado warnings. We issued one, we call it a considerable tornado warning, uh, when the, the storm was east of Evansville here. The, the tornado warnings we issue are on three levels. There's the base ones, there's considerable, and then tornado emergency. Tornado emergency be like F5, tornado is going to wipe the city out type warning. We went to level two because we were seeing debris getting lofted 10 to 15,000 feet up in the air, which, which is a signature to us that a really bad tornado is strong, the violent tornado is happening. So those situations are ones that people really need to be in their shelter when something like that happens. But the signs of rotation first started showing up in.